My sweet 16 party's in 20 minutes and I need the perfect haircut. Ah, oh, don't worry. You're in good hands. How much do I owe you? Oh, nothing. Just let me keep these clippings and we're square. Let's get to our first product from the Cuckoo Collection. It is this beautiful, functional toilet plunger. Oh yes, but this is not any plunger. This is our limited edition solid gold plunger. Unplug your plumbing in style with this eye-catching, shimmering tool. As always, we're offering this item for the lowest possible price. It can be yours for just $29.99. Wow. That's such a good deal. You can pour gravy on it! That's right. <laughs> yes. Oh, look at that steaming hot gravy. Next up, we have this one-of-a-kind throw pillow. And it's not just any pillow, because Ryan took a nap on this pillow just the other day. Oh, yes. I napped so hard on this pillow, I was snoring and drooling. <laughs> Folks, I must stress that this is a one-of-one one product. I know you're gonna want one of these for your collection, and the first person to call us right now will have the privilege of buying this throw pillow for the low, low price of $799. That's such a good deal. You can pour gravy on it. Loud and clear, QVC Nation. Your cries for our gravy have been heard, and now you can serve our special sauce on your dinner table. This 12-ounce can of gravy is our own personal recipe that we have been using in our kitchens for decades. Wow! 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 This gravy is so delicious, you'll be licking to the bottom of the dish to get every last drop all for the rock bottom price of $9.99 per can. That's such a good deal. Gravy on gravy? What were we thinking? No, like you can't put them together. No, it wouldn't work. How do you spell gravy twice? Well, the laws of physics say no. Who would even think of this? We had two meetings and I had a PowerPoint. No. You can't pour gravy on it! Yeah. In other news, dentists recommend brushing your teeth at least three. Surprisingly, Cats only fart one to two times per day.
We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. The verdict is in. We are about to hear from the plaintiff, Neil, as we cut live to the steps of the food court. As you know, this is bittersweet. There are no winners when there is no pizza left. But make no mistake, when someone takes the last slice of pizza without asking if anyone else wants the last slice of pizza, he is then duly tasked with apologizing to the aggrieved party, me, you, if one were to partake in the delight that is pizza, it is incumbent upon, nay, essential for them to properly and fully become a slice of pizza and publicly apologize. Oh yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you today red sauce and red faced by my pizza induced actions. By wordlessly taking the last pizza pizza, I've broken a long standing tradition that goes hand in hand with pizza, sharing. I humbly apologize to Neil and to the greater pizza eating community at large. Neil, I'm sorry I ate the last piece of pizza without asking if you wanted any. I understand what I did was out of line and I feel terrible about how I behaved. I accept my fate. I don't, I don't think being a piece of pizza all my life will be that bad. Mm, pizza. Wait, I'm not actual pizza! No further questions. <laughs> I, I opened it before I got it out. Cheers to everybody, and this is gonna be the best show ever. First thing we're filming of, oh yeah, heck yeah. Woo! Take two. Oh. Yeah, yeah. For them to publicly reverse that line. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what I'm doing here, but all right. And now. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> all right,